Namaste. Water signs. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. Lash on Magical. If you are new to my channel, special welcome to you, my dear. Make yourself comfortable and enjoy the show. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like my energy, of course, and are willing to support me, myself, and I the channel we want to grow and uh, you yourself as well since we are here to um, get this going and get this started <laughs> and share the energy of course and good vibes uh, if you're my lovely subscriber coming back to my channel um, special namaste and special welcome to you make yourself comfortable and enjoy the show as well um, thank you very much for supporting me appreciating and uh, coming back, it means a lot. Uh, we are going to take a look for mid-February general reading for the signs of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water element signs of placement, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And since it is a general, I have to mention it may not resonate with every single one of you watching out there. So please keep that in mind. Take what's yours and leave the rest because if it's not a message for you, it is for somebody else. Uh, and even though it's mid-February kind of energy predicted, whenever you watch this video, the messages may find you and may resonate with you. I will recommend that you stick until the end of the reading because you may never, 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 never know um, and what part of the reading, uh, the information I give you may actually really benefit your living situation, love situation. Uh, most of them are love situations. So anyway, whatever it may be, whatever may pops out for you. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Time is fluid and we all experience time differently. So let's keep that in mind as well. Let's look at water elements. What is your energy out there right now in February? I have two of stones popping out just like that. So uh, I feel like some of you may be wanting to move forward alone or with somebody else. You also have your eye on somebody. You're very attached to someone is what I can say. A lot of emotions, a lot of feelings going on okay okay another one jumping out nine of spirals again some earth energy with the two of stones nine of spirals is fire energy so we had taurus Virgo, capricorn now we have um aries leo and sagittarius here with the nine of spirals uh change 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 divine timing in play also, nine of spirals can represent communication. But anyway, let's um, let's see, let's see what's in for you, water signs. I don't like jumping cards that much, but you know when they want to come out, I, when they want to pop out like that, I'm I'm gonna show you and show you at least, tell you at least what the meaning behind that is. As I was saying, you may never know really what kind of information actually do benefit you in your situation. Yeah. Let's see, five messages. I will be also clarifying these as I usually do. Bottom of the deck, we have 10 of spirals. We have fire energy with this one. Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. This is... Um, a lot of baggage you carry water signs a lot of baggage you carry and i feel like it's emotional most of it you've been investing in something it may be a relationship a connection for a lot of you but you really have been putting some hard work into this and you're finding yourself with the ten of spirals energy at the crossroads choosing a path choosing where you want to go okay okay um it's a full moon energy today where i decided to do your reading so let's keep that in mind as well 
Let's see what the full moon energy may also bring you, but I will do a separate reading when it, when it comes to that. Okay, uh, water signs. You start out with the Ace of Scrolls. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A lot of you water signs may have some air in your chart. You can check your natal chart for more information when it comes to that. Um, I usually do used to say, let's not remain fixed on signs because... Um, because... Um, you know, it's less about the signs, it's more about the energy that that sign got it, you know, wear it with itself. Okay, anyway, you do get my point. Ace of Scrolls is, um, you are gathering, you are gathering, you are getting um, the type of information, and I feel like the type of information that you actually need. This may also be something that is going to make you wiser or more intelligent than you were until this point. It's like you are getting the keys to open the door, which will bring you some clarity with the Ace of Scrolls. We will see more about that when we clarify. Next one, wow. Next one, I like next one. You have Merlin. You have the hero. This is a major arcana. This is the major arcana under the number of zero. So it's like uh, you're starting a new chapter. You're starting from the bottom. You're, you're starting totally new creation. Maybe no wonder why we have ten of spirals uh, in a connection with this one, you know. Um, it's like you had enough with the Thanos spirals. It was just too much to carry on. So you actually uh, brought a decision and you actually have chosen which path you want to walk, which way and direction you want to go, water signs. And um, the Merlin is supporting your energy. He's a great ma magician. He's a great creator. We all know that Merlin is the wizard. It's like very transformative energy because the snake is also supporting the energy. And we also have a kitty cat, which means uh, transformation, rebirth and change is definitely on your way. It's already happening for a lot of you. And kitty cat is, I feel like a lot of you are going to uh, take it well because you wanted it. You wanted it with the, with the ten of spirals. Again, I'm saying, sorry for repeating myself, um, you had enough. It was a lot of baggage to carry for you. It was just, you know, like, enough, it's enough. Like, you won't break me until the point, till I, you know. I feel like you actually decided that, really, enough, it's enough. It's like you decided for somebody not to cross the line anymore. I feel like a lot of you are building your boundaries. And this may benefit you for real, the Ace of Scrolls energy. You gathering the information you need, knowledgement, wisdom, verbal communication that will give you the, the solution. We have a keys that will give you a solution. And it's it's once you have this, and for a lot of you, this this already is happening or has happened, okay? Uh, time is fluid. Uh, once this happens with the Ace of Scrolls, it's going to be like, like a click. And here you come into the energy of the Merlin, being like, yeah, I can do this. I am a creator. I am my own magician. I create my reality. So I will decide how I want it to be, how I want to make it happen. And you're very lovable and caring while stepping into the energy of Merlin while experiencing your change. It may also be that during this change happening, a lot of you are getting softer than you usually are. The full moon in Leo maybe also got to do with that since this is the time period while this is happening. Then we have the Sojourner 
who is representing the king of mirrors. This is your energy, king of water. This is your energy. Yeah, you will find your place. I feel like you're done battling. You are done battling. You brought a decision. You, you have chosen which direction you want to go, uh, what you want to create for yourself, and it's happening. It's happening. Yeah. And it's like you're, you're, you're ready to go. You're ready to go. You are ready to create a reality. To create new journey. To make yourself walking that path and, you know, going on that journey as well. You have all that you need. Look at this. You have all that you need. And that's enough for you. That's all that you need. And before that, you were this. You were like, I'm taking my baggage, my person's baggage, the mama and papa's baggage, the uh, mama's and papa's baggage from the person's baggage, baggage, you know? It was like, mm. it was like, I don't have to do all that. That's not my job. I feel like you will, you will get your realization and clarity how we open this reading. This is a... I'm loving it. This is beautiful reading. Magical. Magical. Definitely magical. Since the Merlin is supporting you as a major arcana. We have the poet coming after the Sojourner, King of Mirrors. We have the poet, which is a king of scrolls. So this is some air energy. This may be your person's energy. Maybe you have dealt with or the new person who is entering your life, who you are starting a connection with. We will see more about that when we do clarify. But it's like King of Mirrors is totally your energy. Yeah. And look at this. Ace of Scrolls for opening your, en uh, your energy, for opening your reading. Um, you know, I was telling you about information, gathering information, becoming information, uh, gathering wisdom, clarity, um, verbal communication as well. And the, your energy, the sojourner, uh, the message is illustrated in blue and blue represents uh, throat chakra. So I feel like you will be communicating very clearly and very openly once you find out what you need to find out, what is meant for you to find out, uh, so you can get into the energy. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm going to make this change. I feel like you are going to make this change. And I put myself into your shoes. That's why I was telling you uh, from your perspective, you know getting into the energy of Merlin, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that change. I can do it, I'm able for it, and I got a whole new journey expecting me to, you know, put my feet on and walk it. So the poet, the king of scrolls, I feel like this is the energy of somebody else. Maybe some air sign you were dealing with or are dealing with or you will uh, deal with. This is someone who is very intelligent, very wise. Uh, this is somebody who got their shit together. And most of that shit is their emotional statement. So they're coming off like maybe showing you a poker face, not really showing their emotions. Um, even though they may be emotional about you. But they're, they're showing off as, you know, quite elegant and um, uh, polite and quite, you know, having an attitude of, you know, hmm. this person is a fast thinker. They think fast. They're like, they think fast and they, they. They also react um, fast. They do things fast. Impulsive person. But yet, 
they're, they're not quite into showing their emotions. A thinker. We also have Ariadne at the end of your spread, water signs. Ariadne is a major arcana and it represents death in this deck, which I'm using the crystallized tarot deck for those of you who are interested. This is a major arcana under the number of 13. Your transformation definitely have started. You're definitely feeling it, experiencing it. Uh, you know, for some of you is uh, less of it, less, less that you um, feel that it's actually happening um, because you can, you, can, you can be torn in quite of a, you know, directions uh, is what I'm picking up intuitively, maybe because of this Ace of Scrolls, because of getting a clarity finally and um, finding your truth finding which what you need to know and it maybe throw you off your balance a little bit in in that way so that's why i was saying some of you may be feeling it not that quite intense as the others um, anyway take it how it resonates take it how it resonates let's clarify your messages what are signs let's see what this is actually about Take time to like, share, and subscribe if you already have not. I really do appreciate that. It helps me grow. It helps the channel grow. It helps you grow. And one day we get to create the community of ours, which I would really love and enjoy. Also, if you wish a personal reading with me, um, you can check the description box. I have it all written down for you guys. What you need to know, how you can contact me and uh, we can make it happen so let's keep it up let's see what this is about water signs ace of scrolls okay wow <laughs> we have travel i feel like i mean yeah it can be it's internal or external uh, again, I will say, take it how it resonates, you know. Uh, it can literally mean travel uh, on the external way. So you can be literally traveling um, even though we live in situation we live in. But a lot of people can afford traveling, right? Even though. <laughs> uh, but I feel like in this case, seeing the cards on the table, it's more of a... Uh, internal traveling with yourself since you have a Merlin uh, as a second card first major arcana in your reading we also have a Riaden representing the death rebirth and change you know closing closing a cycle starting a new one uh, starting a new journey creating yourself a new path you want to walk in and for clarifications we have for the Ace of Scrolls, uh, I was laughing because we have a rebirth. And this is a first message of clarification after Ariane the Dad talking about it. Talking about it, the same thing. Yeah, a rebirth. We have consciousness. And we have exhaustion. Yeah, I'm really picking up that a lot of you, you are just sick and tired of, of, of maybe somebody wanting to control you, to manipulate you, to, uh, you know, keep you stuck, keep you busy, keep you, keep you in, in bad way in sense that you are not capable and able to think of yourself and actually come to the uh, point of okay how do I feel what do I think I also have a voice to speak you will do that definitely with this message you know I feel like it it has come an end to that because it was just uh -uh, enough is enough again I'm coming to that point again 
you're leveling up your consciousness because you realize enough is enough. I'm not going to take it for you anymore. You know, it can be you yourself doing this to you. I often heard that uh, there is a saying actually about it too, that uh, sometimes we tend to be the worst enemies to ourselves when we are not finding ourselves in a place of self-love, self-care, self-respect, self-nurturing, when that part is missing, when there is some part of our soul missing and not making us whole, hell yeah, we can make this happen to ourselves. And it's literally hell. But you, you, you are leveling up your consciousness, water signs. You do it. So again, I'm saying enough is enough. You're having it enough. Rebirth. Rebirth. That's something what you are going to find out is going to, is going to lead you towards change. Let's look at the Merlin and clarify Merlin. The hero. There was... <laughs> There was the wheel wanted to pop out. Yeah, wheel is turning into your favor. You will know best. You know best how your situation is. It can be you yourself doing that to you or you did it to yourself um, or somebody else. But... Anyhow, no matter what the case was, I mean, it does make a difference, of course, but you're having enough of it. You're ready for a change. You want to make a change. It's like, yeah, look at this. Exhaustion, again. This is like... <sighs> yeah, this is like the same message at the bottom of the deck. For the clarification of Merlin, we have laziness and we have slow and steady. I feel like a lot of you, you needed a long time to come towards this change. And for some of you, it can be the story that you need a long time to realize what it actually means when enough is enough. That's why appearing of a consciousness to the message and the rebirth, let's not forget it. And for others of you, it can be that you actually did realize some while ago what is happening, what was happening, but you needed to pull up some strength and braveness to be able, you know, to face it. Yeah. That's why laziness and steady and slow, you were taking your time. Let's look at the Sojourner. Two messages as clarification for Sojourner. Okay. <laughs> the master came out. The master came out for a message of Sojourner clarification, the master. And this is your energy. And we also have clarification of schizophrenia. And at the bottom of the deck, we have, you know, getting the final piece that you need, that you were missing. You know, that has to do with this one. 
Ace of Crows, realization, clarity, gathering it all together and like, now is the time, now it's happening, now I'm gonna make it happen. So this was your near clarification as I was showing the master and she's a frenny. Um, water signs. You are, you are creating it, you are doing it. And it's going to bring you peace of mind back again because you were loud in your head. And this has to do with this both type of stories that I was telling you about. Like some of you had a realization but needed more time to pick up your shit together and just go for it. And it, uh, whatever it may be for you and for, for others of you, uh, you just now at this period of time had the realization uh, and it was like, boom, I need to get my peace of mind. And you are on your way. You are on your way to your karma waters. The blue can also be signified as the, you know, karma waters, since the water is a lovely, blue color master master success you are doing it you are confident now you find your value back again you find your self-worth and you're on your way to get your peace of mind i gotta find peace of mind he says it's not possible but i know it's possible he says it's not possible. That is a song from Lauren Hill. Beautiful piece. Beautiful piece of art. Peace of mind. I gotta find peace of mind. Yeah. If you hear the bloody sirens in the background, that is a demonstration happening. And um, yeah, just so you know. Even though you you do you do not have to know that, but yeah, I was like, uh, I'm gonna tell it to you in case you do hear that. Um, I just hope they're now gonna wake up my baby. Let's see the clarification of the poet King of Scrolls. Let's see who this person is, who this energy is. Some of you who are watching this, you may actually do know. Or maybe have it on your mind, like who is the energy of this person may be, but um, I'm about to see it. <laughs> I'm about to see it right now. Okay, that was like adventure, but you saw it. It was like, whoop, it flipped. So it, we can tell it, it is reverse. No adventure, no more. This is your past person, I feel like. And they still want to be present in your energy. Or somebody with whom you, it doesn't have to, you had a relationship with this person, but... <coughs> Sorry about that. There was a, you know, you maybe had a fling or something going on with this person but you build a connection with this person so it may be as well be your past person so no adventure adventure no more adventure is done we have understanding at the bottom of the deck so yeah right now at this moment of time you may have you like you came to a lot of realizations a lot of realization what is going on inside of you what is going on going on from the outside of you you know like yeah the poet the king of scrolls is clarified with the world message and the fool so it can be aquarius for some of you doesn't have to be so it can be that this person is actually changing it can be that this time around they want to take a leap of faith with you. Maybe that's why they're appearing in your energy. Uh, still.
the world and the fool. It can be that, yeah, definitely, adventure no more. It has ended for the both of you. Uh, you actually are both looking to create, um, you know, new worlds. Everybody for itself, like in a separated ways. Because you have the world, you have change appearing, you have rebirth. And that is, that is big time, you know, and they also have a world as a clarification on their side and the fool with that. So um, the fool is actually a person who uh, does things now and thinks later and somebody who is jumping into the unknown, somebody who is taking a leap of faith. So it may be possible that they are changing as I was saying and want to take a leap fade with you back again but you know maybe different than the past time around because let's not forget the fool is jumping into the unknown so it will be something unknown for them maybe what we people call committed relationship or a relationship where we have an equal give and take that's why the world, because they're changing their perspective, can be very possible for a lot of you. Uh, that's why they want to approach you once again and come towards you, especially as a poet. It's like they're very confident that they can win you over. Very confident. Yeah, for a lot of you, this is your best person. Okay. Let's move into the clarification for the Ariadne. Ariadne. Pretty much rare name, Ariadne. At least for my view. Okay, let's see. Um, I was talking about in my last couple of, of uh, readings that I'm thinking about to do some uh, extended videos for you guys if you are comfortable with that and if you would like that um, you can let me know in the comment section that would mean a lot Ooh. okay uh, nitty gritty message at the bottom of the deck I feel like you are getting out of that energy for those of you who were in that energy which is great I totally support you uh, you should that is not pleasant energy to be in I mean you know like waffle waffle Ariane a beautiful Ariane bringing change and transformation and starting of a new cycle for you water signs is clarified with intuition and this is this is a uh, thing i was telling you about a lot of you may actually have known a long while ago that it is actually done no adventure no more you had that type of realization you actually knew it's time to go it's time to move on your intuition was telling you but you were not prepared to do it yet and that's fine because it's happening anyway. Because it's meant for you to happen. And if you ignore the intuition one time, second time, third time, fourth time, it's gonna it's gonna get louder. It's gonna get you know situation will uh, evolve worse, more intense until enough is enough. And we have battle. Yeah, the thing you had enough of, battling with yourself, battling with this person can be possible. And your intuition was telling you the whole time. Okay. I'm actually really liking this reading. Let's see what romantic angel, angels. There was also flipping. <clears throat> On the reverse, let your friends help you. Don't be closed off, water signs. 
Don't be closed off. Find people with whom you can talk to. If you don't find people with whom you can talk to, write. Make a journal. That's something that always have helped me and helps me. And I believe I will never stop doing that. I would not like to stop ever doing that. It's, it's very relaxing and um, important as well. So you can take my advice and think about it. Maybe start doing it and see how it goes, you know, how you feel it after it, once you put all into words on the paper. Anyway, let's see your romantic angel message. I felt like I wanted to, yeah. Um, we have honeymoon. Enjoy your honeymoon time together. Like a new ecstasy. Honeymoon message. And the next one, no wonder I wanted to pull a second message for you, water signs. It is a new love. It is a new love. New love, new love, new love, new love, new love, coming your way. Okay. Okay. Somebody new has woken your interest. Somebody has it going. <laughs> I did a cancer. They were having new love coming in. I cannot remember how it was for Pisces and Scorpio. Pisces had a big reading, reading about, you know, choosing a pet and making a change and transformation happen. So I feel like this reading will actually resonate with a lot of you. I hope, I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. Let's see what love universe does want you to know. What a love universe does want you to know. Now let's have this one. And okay. So three messages for you, water signs. The first one is it's not only about being right. Yeah, somebody needs to hear this. It's not only about being right. You will be surprised. Mm hmm maybe how fast you will catch some feelings for your new love. Because we had, before I started reading, there was uh, two of spirals, two of fire popping out. Um, and that has the energy of um, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. You are making yourself on your way, as the bear did on a, illustrated on a picture on the card and um, you watching okay the last message for you from love universe is you may not know now but you will so yeah this is this is the energy of i believe we did not have it here no that was actually at the bottom of the deck as you can remember we had all puzzles coming together, you know, with the head and uh, there was a Buddha head actually, I believe. So yeah, you might not know it now, but you will. Um, before I close off your reading, um, let's see what love oracle, love oracle has for you, water signs. What messages do wants to come through for Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Let's see if your past person is talking to you through Love Oracle. Or maybe a new one. Maybe a new one if they're not shy. <laughs> Please forgive me. This is definitely a past one. Please forgive me. So there was something that I have done. That they did to you. Please forgive me. Okay. Our story isn't over yet. Bam, motherfucker. That is that type of confidence. 
that is that type of confidence. The poet, king of scrolls. That is that type of confidence. It's like our story isn't over yet. Okay, it's like <laughs> you also have a voice and free choice to get to the side, you know. Let's see, one more. <laughs> uh. I mean, you, you need two for everything, right? To fight, to be with, sometimes to cook with, to sleep with. You need two. I still have growing to do. Yeah, this is your past. Fights, arguments, conflict at the bottom of that. Yeah, this is your past person wanting to come through with their energy in your reading, water signs. Um, I will leave it here. Yeah. That's why they pop out in your, in, your, in your reading still. I still have growing to do. Clarification. The world and the fool. That was a clarification for this person's energy sitting in the king of thrones. I'll see you very soon. Take good care and thank you for watching.